All right, Coach, if you want to just get started with an, a remark or two, and then we'll go to questions. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> just to recap on Wednesday, um, you know, obviously, uh, uh, as I said, George, uh, Virginia Tech's, you know, better than their record. And, um, you know, they're a really good basketball team and uh, really well coached. And, you know, they hit some shots. We had some stretches there where, you know, we had a couple of droughts of scoring, but we also got hurt, you know, in the points in the paint. At, I think 36 to our 26 points in the paint. Um, uh, that all being said, you know, there was, you know, there was some good that we did from watching the tape and some things that we just got to, we got to continue to, to clean up and, and to get better. Um, we got Clemson tomorrow. Uh, I, you know, Clemson's really good basketball team. You know how big of a fan I am of coach Brunell, you know, one of the best coaches, uh, not only in the league, but in the entire country. Um, they got, they're a very good basketball team. They got good players. They shoot the ball well. Um, they defend at a high level and um, they got, you know, multiple guys that can really play. And they had a great win on Wednesday versus, versus uh, Clemson. So our versus uh, Florida State. Clemson had a great win on Wednesday versus Florida State. So we'll have to be really good. They, they had a chance to beat Duke at Duke. Um, you know, I just think they're excellent, excellent coached, excellent players. And we'll have to play our A game tomorrow at 2 o'clock. All right, guys, raise your hand in the chat function, and we'll start with questions, and we'll go to Rod McKenzie first. Rod? You're on mute, Rod. Rod, you're on mute. Unmute, Rod. I watched a little bit of that uh, Clemson game, and it, it seems like a guy you're familiar with, P.J. Hall, he, he really brings the energy for that team uh, – Imagine that's the guy you really want to make sure he doesn't get off to a good start. Um, yeah, well, look, PJ Hall's an excellent player. We tried to recruit him. Um, and um, and uh, I mean, he's he's really good. And we, you know, we, we recruited him. We wanted him. Um, but he's he's a high level guy. Rod will have to be do a great job defensively. He's highly talented, highly skilled. Um, you know, he's, he's big time player, big time player, big time ACC player. Kelly Quinlan, go ahead, Kelly. Josh, you know, looking at this game, it seems like every week you play a team that shoots really well and, and can play some defense. That seems to be the mantra for the ACC, especially this year. But I, I guess kind of what can you do to counter that and to counter punch the scoring piece of it? And have you guys work, been trying to work on things? And, and do you expect maybe a little bit better shooting at home as well? Well, Kelly, we, you know, we just need to get some wins. However, however that may be, we, we got to start getting a couple of W's here. Um, obviously, it doesn't get any easier on Saturday. And like you said, they can really shoot it. They're very well coached. They're very good defensively. Um, so we're going to have to play really well. I know they lost the one kid, unfortunately, Tyson, who's a, you know, the shoulder injury. Um, and, um, you know, he's a really good player for him. So I don't know how long he'll be out. Um, I'm assuming he's not going to play in our game. So, you know, and that's, of course, an unfortunate break for, you know, for, for, for uh, Clemson. And, you know, you, you don't want to see any player in the league. Um, ever have any injury. So I know that's unfortunate for Coach Brunell, and we wish Tyson a speedy recovery. So I'm assuming he's, I, and I don't know, I mean, you know, they said it was broken, so I'm assuming he can't play tomorrow. You know, I'm, I'm, we're assuming that, but um, so we wish him a speedy recovery. But uh, that all being said, um, you know, regardless whether he plays or not, as Rod mentioned, P.J. Hall is really good. Dawes is really good. Hemingway's really good. Collins is really good. I, I mean, I could go on and on. I mean, they just, they got, you know, honor. Um, you know, they just got a really good basketball team. They got good players. Chase Hunter's good. Um, I mean, they just got, they got, their whole team's good. Um, uh, Bohannon, uh, he's good. Uh, Middlebrooks can play. Um, you know, they just, and they're, and they're really well coached. 
Um, Ian, Ian Sheffin, who's from, who's from Grayson High School here, he's good. I mean, they got a deep team, so, you know, we're going to have to play really well. And, and I, like I said, I think they run great actions. Every time we've played them, it's been a, you know, we've had to play really well. Anytime we've had an opportunity and been fortunate to have a win against them, we've had to play really, really well. Go back to Rod McKenzie and then to Ken Segura. Rod, go ahead. Hey, Josh, I know you like offensively, you like your guards to push the ball, but I guess it, you know, you had a little rough time against Virginia Tech rebounding the ball to that didn't enable you to do that. Uh, where do you see that you need to improve in, in rebounding? Well, Ron, we need to, re we, we just got to get better, you know, rebounding has got to be a better area for us because, you know, you can't be giving up those offensive rebounds. Um, and then it, when we get stops, because we've had some struggles to score, we've got to be able to get stops and force turnovers and go on the other way and transition offense. Um, um, so we can, try to score easy baskets before the defense gets set to help us be able to be better offensively. So that's just, that's just something that we've got to be better at rod and, uh, and Virginia tech, like I said, is really good. I mean, they, they're a really good team. We just need to get a win. We need to get a couple wins, man, almighty. We do we need to get some wins. We're due. I'm hoping it can start tomorrow at two o'clock. We're playing a really good team. Um, there was a cat outside. I called the GTPD to call him to have him pick the cat up because there was a cat in the parking lot. I just felt bad for the cat. I mean, no one was, it was just out there. I don't know whose cat it was, but it was just trying to search for food and I felt bad. So I called GTPD and, they're, and GTPD, they're, they're really good. I had one time called and there was a, a young lady was stuck her car and they came at night and it was late at night. We were leaving films and she was stuck called GTPD. She was obviously frantic. It was late at night, but GTPD came right there and came to the rescue, fixed her car, got it started. And they're coming over here to check on this cat because, you know, I don't know who else to call. So tremendous kudos to GTPD. They're just, they're, they're, you know, Chief Conley and his group are just awesome. So they're coming over here to check the cat and hopefully this cat looks like, you know, I don't want anything to happen to the cat. And, um, you know, so hopefully they, they get the cat and send it to the owner or send it to the shelter and get that is taken care of. So great shout out to GTPD. All right, we'll go to Ken and then to Kelly and then we'll wrap it up. Ken? Um, Josh, I was, I was thinking you're gonna segue in like you were, you guys are as hungry as that cat is, but, uh, but regardless. Um, Rodney Howard uh, is his, Development would it be fair to say his development offensively is maybe gone a little slower than you anticipated. When I was in the hotel in Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, I was watching A and E. They had this thing on A and E about Siegfried and Roy. You ever you ever heard of those that group in in Vegas? Yes, I have. That was unbelievable. And the they were dealing with tigers as pets and like lions. It was incredible. You know, I mean, I've heard of them. And. Was it Moose? Was it Roy or Siegfried? They got, unfortunately, that got, and the tiger went after him and reading this and hearing about it. They, the, you know, they say there's different stories of it, but the tiger got aggressive. Now, maybe the tiger thought, I don't know which one, Siegfried or Roy, but thought it was, um, it was like this, it was her, his or her cub or her cub and was protecting. But again, whichever one they got, they got hit in the neck. They still love the the tiger even after the fact. Uh, unfortunately, I think I think both Sie Siegfried and Roy is unfortunately has passed away from what I understand. I think one from COVID, the other had cancer. But that was an amazing story. Just talking about cats, um, I didn't get the segue there, but I did watch on A and E, and that was amazing. I mean, and how they were raising them throughout the entire time. I mean, it was unbelievable what those two did at their home, and the and the amount of of acts that they were doing in Las Vegas every night. I think it was at the Mirage. Unbelievable. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's why we didn't do as well in Virginia Tech because for that hour on A&E, instead of watching film, I got caught in watching the documentary on Siegfried and Roy, but it was, it was amazing. Um, and God bless them both. And may God rest 
you know, they rest in peace. But um, um, so when that, I just thought about that when you brought about the, the cat. Uh, regarding Rodney, um, you know, Rodney started the year really good, Ken. I mean, he was at a high level, really improved. Um, and, um, you know, he was, he was, um, you know, really playing at a high level. I think, unfortunately, he got the injury that set him back. Um, yes, we need, we need more production from him. He plays hard, but he's still young with his, with his minutes. And at the beginning of the year, he started really well and was doing a great job for us, Ken. Um, and I just think the injury sent him back. And he had a great game against Florida State, got in foul trouble against Miami, got in foul trouble, obviously, against Clayton State. First game back was Wake Forest, so you don't really count, you know, because he had been out for so long. And then Clayton State foul trouble, but he played excellent against Florida State, foul trouble against Miami. And I thought he was, I thought he was okay for us the second half. Yes, we need to see more numbers, defensive rebounding, offensive rebounding, some things like that. But I don't have the stats right in front of me, but he's doing a good job of not turning it over even when he's handling the ball. So um, we just got to keep getting him better. He'll get there. I'm a big fan of Rodney, and we're going to need him to continue to develop and be good for us this year if we're going to want to win games. Last question to Kelly. Go ahead, Kelly. Just to kind of update on um, some guys who have been down. Um, you know, it seems like Saba is probably not 100%, um, and he hasn't been playing much. And then obviously Jordan and Tristan didn't play. I was just curious if you had any updates there and, and kind of what your expectations are from, from Saba and Mecca going forward. Well, Jordan Mecca hurt himself in practice on Tuesday, had a hard fall on his back uh, going up when we were practicing. So he wasn't able to play Wednesday. Tristan was not able to play Wednesday either uh, based on his thumb. And, um, and, and Saba, you know, he, he's, he, he's working hard he, it, and he's getting better. It's just, I, I decided to kind of shorten the rotation, you know, over these last few games, even though last game I went deeper just because we were trying to figure something out. But in the reality of it, in Miami, you know, I played eight guys with Miles, but really in Florida State, I was going in that we're keeping a tighter rotation. And so it's not anything against Saba. And it doesn't mean he's not going to play anymore this year. It's just I've tried to keep it a smaller group, tighter rotation, and thinking that would be best for us to help us give us our most success, which it worked against Florida State. So we'll just see how things, um, you know, move forward, um, you know, as each game goes by. All right, Coach, thanks a lot for your time. Okay, thank, and just want to let you, it was just an hour on a, like, all the other time I was watching film, it was just that hour. So let's be clear on that. That wasn't, I just spent all my day watching A and E. It was just that hour. I was just flipping the channel. Amazing story, you know. Just you know, human beings are amazing. I mean, people can I mean can do amazing things in their life, and you just never know. And you know, God bless.